field is set, ready to run. Stand by for a start. And they're racing. Give them a cheer, Australia, wherever you're listening. What a win in the cup we'll never forget. Welcome back, Reggies, to another punch show. We're two blokes we tonight are. who could have been anything but decided to have fun instead. Tommy's off uh, camping, I think. Or he's doing something, I can't remember. You uh, maintain your 100% attendance record. 100% attendance record. Mm. Yep, fucking oath. Uh, <laughs> you'd be that. second now, surely. Yeah, I think I missed three or four shows while I was in Europe. Mm. Barbary slotted in for one of them. Mm. Yeah, true, true, true. So that's anyway. one ginger out, one ginger in, so maybe that <laughs> makes up for it. Yeah. Before we get into it, gamble responsibly, please, everybody. Massive shout out to Blue Bet. I don't know if you've noticed our hats that we've yeah. got on running in the last few yeah, weeks. Been running the baggy regs. Uh Not for the punch show. We've got no. the Blue Bet hats on. Uh, download the app. Start punting with the True Blue Aussie bookie. Fucking oath. Uh, they're battlers just like us. Oh, yeah. They're just, the underdog of the punting game. So get on them because we love underdogs. We Australia do. loves an underdog. Uh, let's see how we went last week, Quino. Because I reckon it'll be a bit longer than mm. I reckon it was the <laughs> week before. Give old Luke Smith the honours. Yeah, give yeah, him the give honours. Let him go. Fuck yes. Yeah. I hope go. he nails this. <laughs> Me too. Reggies, how are we, gentlemen? It's the OG listener from down south in Mexico. Uh, I've been summoned by the great G1G to partake this week uh, on behalf of the listeners. Uh, we'll up the ante a little bit and go a nine-leg multi. Oh, um, this one sake. we will go to <laughs> Colton, 25-plus over north. Kerno to kick three-plus. Kukai to kick two-plus. Cripps to get 25 or more touches. Fisher to get 20 or more touches. Uh, we'll go Geelong 25 plus over yeah. the Poos and Wees, a.k.a. Hawthorne. <laughs> the Poos uh, Cameron to kick 2 plus, Hawkins to kick 2 plus, Warple to get 25 or more touches. That multi there for the nine legs, Blue Bet is giving us $27.54 oh, for. Um, so Exciting. Because I don't know, uh, a tissue each way for me. Yeah? Mm. Yep. yep. Uh, no. oh, I don't know. I just can't go past the tissues Flemington oh, form and shit, distance. Brother. So I'm going to go $2 a win at six fifty and three units a place at $1.85. Nice, nice. nice. I am going for the reigning Australian Cup champ, Cascadian. So yeah. you, you boys know I love the good old from blue. And the big standout for me is its 2,000-metre record compared to the rest of the field. Mm. I still think he's got it and can get it done even later on in its career, so I'm going the three units on it for yep. the win. You know, Reggie's, let's go. Group 1 Racing, oh, yeah, Cup, 2,000 metres, <laughs> Flemington Race 8, number two, Cascadian. Oh, oh, it's, uh, wow. Racing, last couple of races, it's been fucking primed. I'm going to whack three units on Cascadian son. to win. Just um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm staying with the same theory, boys. I'm going to go something that I think will win. Yep. I'm going to have all my units on it. Uh, Flemington race two, number three, Midtown boss. It's his time. Great, it's got to be his time. Easy. You're getting that. three bucks as we speak. Yeah, I'm going to have five units on him. Nice little return. Get us back in the winner's circle. Five units at three bucks. Flemington race two, number three, Midtown boss. Woo! That was some great That was printing. good, wasn't it? That Fucking was good. Luke Smith with one of the great AFL multis. Yeah, and the listener's off the mark, but not only that, they're in the lead. Big time. Straight up in the lead. One fucking multi and they've taken the lead. <laughs> One swing and they're back in the As positive. soon as that, like, fourth quarter started after the lightning play and Warple came out, I think he had, like, it was a one-two play, three touches, bang, got him over the 25. Yeah, what about Fisher for, I think, who's he play for? North. North, yeah. He, there was 30 seconds to go and he did the old... Uh, handball or kick and then yeah. run around, get it back, have another kick and got yep. into 20 just. He, I reckon Luke's down there and he's got a bit of inside information on that one. <laughs> yeah. A few brown paper bags for the boys. Yeah, but yeah. I think uh, the key here is that we never doubted him once. I never doubted him once. No one. We didn't say one bad thing. We just knew nope. that – pretty much knew the bet was a good thing. So. Yeah. We'll always back our own in, didn't we? Anyway, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure. Well, I never said did. that I want to scrutinise him like he scrutinises us. No, that was never. Never. I said. didn't give him one bit of curry. 
at all. On every I'll tell you what, oh. this kind of want to be fucking squeaky clean. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. want to yeah, fucking yeah. speak so well and have it all laid out or I'll fucking roast you, cunt. Because all you do <laughs> is just going... <laughs> After every episode. Love your support, yeah. but you'd want to nail it, cunt. Yeah. A few moments later. So give him the old two swipes. Um, nah, fuck that. You fuck can just reckon. listen. If he wants to be a fucking clown, then you just can just listen. The Imagine if there. he pulls it off now Whoa. and Grover's just rubbished right. him. Oh, they haven't rubbished him. I just said he will post 11-leg multi... Yeah. At this price, go and listen. Yeah, yeah. The 11 leg is a <laughs> fucking enough. Hail Mary. If you pull that off, that's ridiculous. One minute later. Yeah. You know what he's done? He's, no, he's gone the fucking <laughs> groper each way by going, oh, look, I'm no good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm no good. I'm, started I'm with rubbish. It. Started with it, then finished with the groper. Uh, Fucking Try oh, to stay boy, oh, yeah. Lord. Oh, I can't pump for shit, so I thought I'd like the post to be the punter. I wonder if he if he wins. <laughs> It feels like the same thinking, thing. I'm thinking it's not like we've just plucked you out a thin air cut. You like the post <laughs> to be in the draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Now on your look. Right, oh, good stuff. One hour later. That was uh, another little jab I had to have at Luke just quickly too. Um, he's gone on in two of his bets. He's gone on the Carlton North game, which starts at three o'clock Friday. So get on quick. Is it going well? Is it going well? <laughs> <laughs> Is this still a jab? Or oh. Um, oh. Get Get that in you. You dirty cunt. I'll so put the fucking fart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll anyway, put someone here. That's, what the, that's, that's how good the listeners are going. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hey. listen to that. Um, oh, fuck. See, so wow. did, never doubted him once. <laughs> Not once. That was all confidence and backing, that whole clip. <laughs> Fuck, that is funny. He just stood up to the podium when he had his chance yeah. under probably more pressure than any other listener yet, and he said, fuck yous, watch this. Yep. Good yep. on the bloke. Proud of him. Yep. Proud of him. Now he gets his chance again. Knew he could do it. Yeah, um, put up the poll and said, what do you think of if someone gets a win, they go again? Yep. And I think everyone agreed on you got to get a certain amount of units back. Definitely. But I reckon if you get a 10-unit profit, you go again. So that's a good idea. Ten unit profit. So not ten units back because yeah. you got to spend five. That's right. So you got to get at least fifteen back for your five that you've spent. Yeah, and then has to be fucking... circumstantial. We've got to we've got to get the tick of approval from everyone. Yeah, just because. Yeah, I don't know. If you come on and back a dollar ten favorite. Well, that's what they were saying. I'm like, if you do that, everyone's just going to rip you. Well, so, that's right. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, if you get a 10-unit profit, you can have another crack, I suppose. That sounds like a great idea. Um, someone put up a thing in there yesterday saying, like, oh, I like the post to be the punter, oh, just helping you yeah. out. And then when I said what's happening, tried to say that he was trying to bait me. Yeah. No, you fucking weren't, cunt. I, I, thought, I saw that too and I was like, you can use that as an excuse, mate, but yeah. uh, I think that was No, you moment. weren't. You yeah. fucked up. But it's all good. <laughs> we all do it. Yeah. So... Lukey's up again after a mammoth 52-unit return in the championships. Uh, we put the leaderboard up today, we did. which was fucking... It was a rude shock for not, me. Not good viewing for Groper, but mm. in the champion in the championships. Um, I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for Cascadian, I would have been sitting there today miserable looking at that. <laughs> yeah, the big cat. That's put me like plus 13, I think, in the What about G1. G1P? Just that was, plus 90. I knew he was up there, but plus 90, I just went, fuck off, man. Yeah, he's is, going well. He is going well. I think well. he's he's tipped four out of the last five winners. Yeah. Something that's stupendous such impressive like that. <laughs> he needs, he's, but, you know, punting, the tide comes in and out. He's yeah. not going to be up there forever. That's right. That is exactly right. I'm but, keen to fucking chase him down too, actually. Yeah. I think I will this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Not Copy. entirely this weekend, but chip away one weekend at a time. Copy. Well, I'll... Let's do what we did last week and start with L Smith. Yeah. For the listeners, um, he's got. I think this goes again for another three or four minutes. So <laughs> he can have his stand. I, I imagine it's fucking. Can he go back to back? A few, a few large legged multis. Yeah, and coming a few up. rippings into us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well deserved. Yeah, definitely deserved. Reggie's, it's the OG listener from down south in Mexico. How are we, gentlemen? Good. Uh, what a weekend, eh? With Easter break, uh, it was great to see some family, have a few drinks, and uh, watch some football too. A um, couple of matches, and they happened to go the right way for uh, for the listeners. So, 
it's official. We're on the board. Um, just so happens to be that we went from last to first as well. So that's an absolute bonus, um, even though uh, might have copped a bit of flack for how many <laughs> legs and Did stuff not. like that. But nah. um, guess what? It won, and we're on top, so get fucked. Um, I was also a bit surprised that uh, didn't even get a mention for Captain of the Week. Like, fuck me, I thought that was a bit stiff. Um, two blokes that you're talking about, they both fucking both lost in their sport, but... Um, Ah, well, I guess um, putting your team on the shoulder and going from last to first <laughs> isn't that great of an effort. Um, or maybe it was just the um, competition that I was up against. Um, but anyway, bit of fun. We'll roll into it. Um, yes, they're going to be multis, and yes, I'll stick with the footy. One of some money, so or some units, I should say. So we'll roll with it again. And like I said last week, throw enough shit, hope something sticks. Uh, two units, Sydney versus West Coast, 12 legs. Yes, I don't give a fuck about what you say. Uh, I will go as many legs as I want. Wow. And this week, I hope that they get to. printed just Good. for the listeners to get on and follow. Well, no, can't get um, on. Sydney, 40 plus. Amati, oh, McDonald, Papley, all to score two or more goals. Yo, Blakey, Grundy, Warner and Goulden and Kelly all to get 20-plus disposals. <laughs> Lloyd and Heaney to get 25-plus f- touches. Uh, Bluebet is giving us $14 on that one. Um, Heaney has been in awesome form this year, but watch him fuck me on that one. Um, two units, Saints versus Richmond. Uh, again, a 12-leg same-game multi. <laughs> Saints to win, 1-39 to 39 points. Sinclair and Taranto, 25-plus disposals. Steele, Wanganang, Miller, Ross and Bolton all to get 20 or more touches. Hill to get 15 plus. And then Higgins, Memory, Bolton and Kaczynski all to score one or more goals. Bluebet is giving us $13 on that one. Um, and yes, Groper has done the math right. There is one leg left. However, I'm I am having him. a bit of a reduced swing. This one's only for eight legs. So... 25, uh, Brisbane to win by 25 plus points. Port Adelaide to win 1 to 39. Sydney to oh, win 40 plus. GWS to win. Saints to win 1 to 39. Pies 25 plus points over the Poos and Wees. Roosters to win. Dolphins to win. Bluebet is giving us $40.22. So see how we go with that one, boys. Hopefully I can keep the listeners up on top again. Um, it was just great to see, and probably better that um, I finally managed to get a recording past Quinny. But um, yeah, nah. Have fun, boys. Stay safe. Well, there you go. Where's the just ripping? Fucking, oh no, nah, I fucked up. I thought he was a fucking Richmond supporter for some reason, oh. and then he's just who tip, does he support? Tip the Saints. Oh, I don't know. I think he lives near Geelong, so yeah. He didn't include Geelong, if I heard correctly. He didn't include. He's gone Geelong that big one at the start. Sydney v West Coast, which I guess he's that's kind of fair. He's assuming Sydney is just going to hammer him, yeah. which is fair. Like they're twelve legs, but you'd think, oh, 12 legs, holy fuck! But if you're not a usual AFL punter, it takes a fair few legs to get some value. Yeah, it, it, you know, goal scorers and disposals. It's yeah, usually a dollar to two bucks if there's something um, safe. And. What I was meant to say before we heard that is no cunt. I didn't see one fucking bet slip from the listeners posted of the multi that won. Yep. You know why? Because it fucking started at three o'clock Friday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw some like comment in the RLC saying he had a little print from it, but there was no. So one comment didn't see one fucking. No proof. Didn't see much of no. anyone getting on. So, good work, guys. Good on you for, <laughs> you know, getting the listeners up there. But does that show that you didn't have much of a backing? No one backed you. Your mates didn't have your back. I reckon this week they might. Fucking oath they this will. This week they might. Yeah, and he's Fuck stuck yeah. with what he knows because yeah. why fix something that's not broken? That's fucking right. We'll print the eight-legger. Yeah. You just can listen to the episode. The other two, we'll say with the twelve-legger. Not just being shitty. It's like that's a lot of work for young Gil. No, it so. just fucking doesn't fit, man. No. It's all right. You just got to listen. That's what we're here for, to that's listen. That's right. Don't cheat and just go to the Instagram Listen post. to us, and then if you forget, you can look at the Instagram. That's yeah. just a reminder. 
Fuck yeah. Well, I'm going to have a crack. Uh, what do you got, mate? There's none of this. I actually do have a multi. Ooh. I do have, but it's only four legs though. But uh, first off, does Big Buffalo River just fucking get to the front and win this week? Reckon? I reckon. Nice, cheap, easy lead in front at Caulfield, which is a leader's track. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's his favourite track and trip, 1,400 metres, gate one. He loves leading. What's the odds? Does he – four bucks. Ooh. Does he just get out and win? I reckon he does. I'm a, four dollars It's always great. up there for the place as well. Uh, mate, so. he's been competing with Prada Jenny, Mr. Brightside, all preparation. Yeah. Now he drops back against this fucking pack of nobodies. That's right. And four bucks. Time to shine, you Stop reckon? Stop it. So the big buff, four That's units it. on the nose, four dollars. That's a great pickup. Get on. <laughs> that is actually a great pickup. And then I'll have a multi because they never work and I love wasting <laughs> units. So uh Caulfield race four number six. Peace Treaty got an absolute fucking butchering by Jamie Carr last start. Um doesn't draw well again, draws out wide, but hopefully can slot in and gets a place for me at a dollar mm-hmm. eighty five a place. Into Caulfield race 10, the lucky last of the day. Number 12, far flung. Second up, I backed it first up. Um, it'll get back, but it looked like it was going to win first up until it eventually looked like it got shot <laughs> with a, <laughs> 100 metres to go. Um, but it's fitter now to 1,600. Needs a place, $4 a place. Into Ooh. the Cowboys 13 plus against the Titans. Speaks for itself. Yep. Into... The Canberra Raiders to beat Parramatta on Sunday night. Ooh. Multi's paying $20.25, and I'm going to have one unit on that. Fucking hell. So, Other than the $4 place, that is some great value. You get yeah, 20 I'm bucks. getting the value is the $4 place. Yeah, I like that, man. That is some great punting. Yeah. You've, you've gone well with the. Hopefully big. Well, you come close, but calculated multis. Like, oh. I was tend to look at a multi and I just go, he looks like he'll score, sure. <laughs> You've actually done a bit more yeah, research. Yeah, the calculated it. research has really paid off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can backflip sometimes. So with that, uh, like we say, multis are just fucking hard and shit, but I'm going to go Unless for Unless you're Luke Smith. Yeah, he just gets <laughs> AFL multis. I'm going to the Saturday Rugby League. I've got a four-leg multi spread across two games, two of the big games this weekend in my opinion. The first one is Bunnies versus New Zealand. Now, I've tipped the Warriors – on Tuesday, and I'm backing them in the punt as well. I don't think the trip's going to be too hard for them. Plus, a core will have 500 fucking Rados yeah. fans there anyway. Big sellout. And RTS has been in some fine, Hasn't fine he? form. So I'm backing him to get over again. And then my last two legs is Manly versus Penrith. I think Penrith will get it done even at Brookie. Oof. Another player who's been in fine form has been Isaac Tongo, and I've got him anytime as well. So that's paying 14 bucks. So I'm chucking three units on that. Oh, yeah. And then I've got another multi. It's just a two-legger horse multi. First one. It's coming at Caulfield Race 9. I've got first immortal for the win. Oh. Second up here. It's coming off a great win in the 1600. Now it's going on to the 2000. It's proved in the past you can fucking do it at this distance. And it's all class. I think it'll be way too good for this field. My second one is Randwick Race 9. Zardozzi to win. So the recent winner of the Oaks... Looks good this trip, and I was beaten a couple of weeks ago by Orchestral and Tuta La Vita. Mm. I don't think that changes much, though. She's proven to get it done at the 2,500, so can definitely get it done at the 24 compared to some other horses in this race that haven't really been challenged or raced at this distance yet. Uh, you know, Riff Rocket will probably be up there, but mm. I think Jamie Carr just continues her great form this year and gets the win. If you multi them two wins together, you're getting $10.80, so I'm doing that and placing my last two units on it. Love the first Immortal bet. Yes. I may have that in another segment nice. coming up. So, nice. Um, and, yeah, Zardozzi, that's a good bet. She won the Derby last that's year. That's right, yeah. So, but so did Riff Rocket. He mm. won the boys one. Uh, sorry, she won the Oaks. He won the Derby. Yep. So, uh, yeah, no, they're, they're good bets. I I'm like pretty that. confident on and that. And you get 10 bucks for them. Yep. Beauty. That's right. Uh, Hear from Tommy. You got that's yeah that's the Australian Derby race nine at Randwick yes. and then race nine at Caulfield. It, I don't know what it is. It's no, a bit I of a nothing remember, race, yeah. but yeah, big day at Randwick. 
Fucking Full group O's, one, man. Stonecaster Day, TJ Smith. It's going to be a fucking ripper Mouth first day of the championships. Racing. But these championships, we yeah, need to hear from Tommy. Sweet. I reckon we'll do that and then it'll, your dog will be running, mate. Yeah, perfect. Yep. perfect. I've, I've already got it up here. Yieldy. Righto, lads. Kicking off the championships. I just want to say, Lukey Smith, take a bow, son. Well done, bro. Good punting. You've got the boys off to a flyer. You're actually in the lead now, you grubs. Let's see if you can keep it going, mate. Um, Look, I'm in a drought at the moment, boys, and I'm desperate to get back in the winner's circle. I'm going to kick things off with a three-legger. We're going Dolphins versus Tigers first up, and I think this will be a high-scoring game, so I'm going over 42.5 points. Then we're going Cowboys versus Titans. I think the Cowboys win 13 plus because the Gold Coast are just shit. Uh, yes. Then we're heading Penrith versus Manly. Taruva is scoring tries for fun at the moment. I reckon he goes over for one. So those three legs put together gives you $5.68 thanks to Bluebet. And I'm having four units on that. Now, look, I'm having the biggest swing I've ever had on the show with my last wow. unit here. I'm going to try pick a try scorer in every game starting Friday night. Wow. So here goes my seven-leg <laughs> try scoring multi. Wow. We're going Dom Young, Kalen Ponga, DWZ, Isaac Tungo, The Hammer, Jeremiah Nanai, or Nanai, whichever one he goes by, <laughs> Xavier Savage. That's paying $211.24 <laughs> thanks to Bluebet. Fucking get that up here. Fuck, that's huge. <laughs> now that'll change the fucking game. That will flip it on its head, man. <laughs> that will change the game. Oh, that's prime. That I love is that. Prime. His uh, first one's a good bet. That is. Very smart. Good bet. And then you listen to some of them try scorers and it doesn't sound that outrageous. It doesn't, but to have <laughs> For it, it all, all to happen, line yeah. up in one weekend is fucking going to need a miracle. Right. It is sheeting rain at Maitland at the Ooh. moment. Maitland, race 12. We've got a dog number nine who's got to start because there was a scratching in box six. Uh, I don't even know the cunt's name. I've Blind Ambition. That. Blind Ambition, that's it. Loves the track and trip. Ooh, does. Absolutely loves the track and trip. There's a only issue is there's a one dog paying, what, $2.80 in box one, my favourite box. Loves the track also, sired by Fernando. Ooh, the He's the retard. danger. He is the danger. But the thing's never won from an inside barrier. The closest barrier to the inside that the number one has won from is barrier five. Ooh. Uh, box five. And he's out of box one. So we're on number nine. Blind ambition out of box six. Come Fuck, on. I'm keen for this one. They're loading in. They're loading in. And like I said, it is sheeting. <laughs> Look at it. Looks glorious. They're just going to be there. skipping across this mud. Here we go. Green, Green light. Green light. Come on. Just be close. At least get close. Ping? Are we pinging? For barrier six, eh? Yeah. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, he's pinged. Oh, it's leading. He's pinged. Oh, and it's oh, got the inside. It's slow. Oh, oh, the eight's fucked him. Oh, oh no. This Are is you ugly. Kidding? This is ugly. That was the best start we've ever had. It is. It's not even in a terrible spot. It's going to run fucking second, third, sec, third. Oh. Fuck. How did that happen? That it's, was our best start yet. Did Straight it slip out the or something? Gate. Oh, Must have slipped. Anyway, had the inside as well. Kettle head, <laughs> just one. Fucking oh, up. that'll be a fucking good clip though. Gilly will be able to clip that. Yeah, one that up. will be fine. With the race in the we uh, go down again, round. but uh, it's a segment that's here to stay. That was good. That was good. I'm happy with that. I don't mind when it's fucking. At least there was a good there was, start. It wasn't a just. It I wonder at what's least happened gave us a there. Bit of a chance. I wonder what has happened. We'll have to watch a replay. He didn't have Good his fucking. Analysis. He wore his rubber spikes, not his. Oh, <laughs> I should have had the steel studs on. <laughs> oh, right. Let's move into the B one, B two, the segment. Uh, how good's the stinger? We've got a couple of good friends of the show. TBR actually had two winners, took two runners to Townsville yes. today, and they both won. So good shame. On the it's a shame it wasn't. Um, sorry. Today, as in yesterday for you guys listening, mm-hmm. Thursday, Townsville races. Took two runners there. They both won. Shame it wasn't Friday, you know, because so then he, he, he would have tipped them that's to That's right, yeah. yeah. But that's all right. Um, and then, yeah, the great TJ Barbary 
We've got the TJ Smith this week. Maybe Ooh. there'll be a TJ Barbary one day. You never know. <laughs> They're going head to head. You saw the leaderboard fucking yesterday. So, uh, yeah, let's hear from the B1. Still very close between yeah, the two. Yeah, it eh? is. Reggie's TBR B1 here. Uh, look, nothing to write home about last week, although Barbary's new tactic is to have his horse scratch and uh, gain five units. Um, you know, if that's the way he's going to run, then I'd say he's going to be B2 for a long time yet. <laughs> Looking forward to Saturday's racing. I've come up with a, a winner uh, at Eagle Farm, race number nine, number eight, Rising Pacific. Uh, look, this horse is second up, steps up to 1,600. Tony Golan, Jimmy Orman, what better combination can you have in Brisbane? That'll be me for three units to win. Oh, yeah. Then with my last two units, I'm going to go a place multi. We're going to start off yes. in Melbourne, race eight, number two. Off to Sydney, race one, number seven, and race four, number one. That's a place multi, the three-leg multi with two units. Good luck, happy punning, and remember, the Moya, the fucking Moya. <laughs> glorious. That is glorious. I love that when he does that, goes to bang on the snot of something. Yelp. Uh, I forgot Barb's got scratched. Yeah, me Sunday. too. That fucking caught me. That's and it wasn't even a um, the horse like it was abandoned. Well, yeah, the race had too abandoned. much fucking rain. See it run on Wednesday. Oh, did it? Astero, it run. Uh, yeah, Wednesday. How to go? Run second. Mm. Barb's tipped it to us. He said, "Oh, it's running today yeah. after Saturday." So I got on it. Only on the snot though. <laughs> That's all right. Still a good run. From That's me. all right. Let's hear from the hear from him. Big girth. Reggie's. <laughs> well, I hope everyone had a great Easter weekend. Obviously, the not the results. We were not in the boxing and all the rest of it. Tell me the alpha bloke's curse is real. Don't flatter but Anyway, him. I just remembered after I said that, you're not going to fucking be there tonight anyway. All right, B1, I'm coming this week, and I might even get back in front. <coughs> Obviously, my selection out the gate last week as Durban races were called off. So I'll cop the five units and I'll move on. Um, this week yeah, I've got a best and I'm having a multi. So here it is. Eagle Farm, race six, number three, Flag Hall. This son of Star Spangled Banner is bred in the purple. His mother was a three-time group winner herself. He's trained by a legend in lead, Friedman. He's one win and one placing at the venue. One from one at the trip. One win and one placing from two goes second up. Draw nice and soft in barrier four. Um, you'll take a heap of beating, and at three dollars thirty, I think that's an absolute gift at the time of recording. I'll be having four units on him. Eagle Farm, race six, number three, Flag Hall, four units straight out. Ooh. And with my last unit, like I said earlier, I'm having a multi, a four leg place multi. I do think all these can win, but I'm playing safe. Caulfield, race six, number two, Legacies. Caulfield, race nine, number three, First Immortal. Eagle Farm, race seven, number nineteen, Majestic Boom. Eagle Farm, race eight, number two, Dark Dream. $22.87 for the four-leg place multi at the time of recording. I'll have one unit on that. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy punning. Well, nice. you know next week he's going to cop it from this week's B1 about copying him with the place oh, multi yeah. now. Fucking oath. He's taking his formula. <laughs> oh. Just wants to be him. And uh, <clears throat> you can't talk because moving into the next segment. Yeah, well. <laughs> the group I've one segment. Taking a... Uh, Page out of Pedro's book. <laughs> it works. He's almost fucking absolutely Off nailed hand it. Claire, photo for third. I, it looked like it got it. That's what I – watching it, I was too focused on Cascadian, Cascadian and yeah. doing a backflip outside my house. So I didn't – I saw Van Claire coming in. The I was – um, I was about to go off because obviously a tissue got the place. Yeah. And I was like, I got my units back at least. Because I had two to win, three to place. Yep. And then as I watched the first replay, I just bat the dummy and walked away from the TV. Because it, it looked like it yeah. got it. And I just went, you're fucking joking me. Because um, the tissue looked the winner at the top of the straight. Oh, it did. It was Fuck just it fucking cascading just worked. It's oh, way, it was a great you know, ride. The run just battled through the crowd. Great and then just ride. peeled on the outside. Ben fucking Mellum, credit. take your hat off. Yeah. He's He's been praised for it all week. So Absolutely. it was, a, was great, a great ride. Great ride. Um, and Jenny Stiff, I mean, she, what a race again, but just fucking got an just engine. Just keeps kicking. Just got it's an absolute fucked. engine on it, man. Every race she's in now is just like, I, I don't get annoyed at it cause it's awesome to see yeah. cause no, not many horses can do it. Fucking no So way. it's awesome to see, but it's like, just race 
fucking properly. Yeah, why <laughs> do you just lead and just stay so fucking fast for so long, man? <laughs> yeah. Different breed. Anyway, awesome to see. So um, every – yeah, you just know the drill. Every week we've got a group one. We're going to have a crack, all of us, everyone on the show. Um, and then on the days, like this weekend again, we've got four group ones at Royal Randwick for the first day of the championships – uh, we're just going to pick one. We've rotated through. Yep. We're up to Rocket. Rocket got the pick, and he's picked the TJ Smith. Um, the race, people around my age will know it as Chautauqua's race because a bit before of the, my time. The three, the three wins in a row, all from last, just hammering down the outside. Wow. The third one was fucking ridiculous. That's the only one that I actually had money on, and it was Unbelievable. There's been a few videos of all three of those replays getting around this week just because yeah. it's TJ week. So if you haven't seen them, get on and watch them because what a racehorse. I think I'll have to because I haven't seen them. Yeah. And then probably people your age will know it as Nature Strips race because he yes. also won it a few yeah. times. But boring. Led and won. Yeah, it just was too good. fucking come from the Made cloud. Made it interesting, yeah. Every time. <laughs> Darren Flindell's call of the third one is fucking elite, man. Because be, oh, As soon as we wrap up here, I'll watch He him. doesn't even see him like as a threat to win mm. until the last probably 100, maybe 50 wow. metres. So it's awesome. It's elite viewing. Um, yeah, so... The best, best sprinters in the land are going to line up. It's a cracking it fucking is TJ. It's fucking tough to pick, man. Um, can Imperatriz go to Sydney and match it? Wet conditions, it's definitely going to be rain affected, but mm-hmm. you just don't know how much rain. They're expecting anywhere up to 100 mil of rain during Friday and early Saturday. That has to come into it, obviously, but. You just don't know. Like, what if they only get 40 and it's a soft six? Yeah. Or we've what got if a they Darcy get 100? Six, and, yeah, could have sorry. a klutzy eight. <laughs> yeah. Like, that makes a very big difference. They could get 120 mil and it'd be a fucking yeah. klutz 10. That's right. And if you're oh. just basing it purely off the weather, you could be back in a fucking fifty dollar. He just is a mudslinger. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then next thing, no rain. It's a fucking. And we just don't. I don't trust any weather until I see it. I know. <laughs> That's I know. We know so. so it's Thursday night. Yeah. It's a bit hard. But I've tried to sort of hedge me bets on that there is going to be rain affected yep. track, rain affected going. Well, this is what'll make it even more impressive if you can back it on Thursday night. Yeah, and you just got to back the weather weather in here because mm-hmm. hundred mils a lot. So that if they get that, it'll definitely be a clutch track. So yeah. um, I wish I wins first up. Well, we're going to have a look at the blue bet market here. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish I win first up. That is just fucking unreal to me, going first up into a TJ. Like, yeah, that's not an easy race you to won't, start uh, You won't see that too many times, I don't think, is a horse going first up into a TJ Smith. You'd think it would have had at least one run. Um, and then we move down. We've got who would have thought after Private Eye almost knocked Imperatries off, off first up 1,000 metres at Flemington. Yep. Who would have thought it had – obviously it's gone flop, flop, and mm. now it's $23 They're in a race harsh, where it, you thought it would have been fucking close All to All it takes favorite. is a couple average runs and everyone just forgets it has it's been class. Shit. Yeah, but Mars still. Who's the fucking clear – to me, he's the clear heavy form, heavy track form horse and always runs well in these big group yep. one races when it's wet and it always seems to be fucking mm-hmm. wet at the championships in Sydney. That's right. And even someone like Cole Crusher has not been that bad. And yeah. you're getting $61 odds. Well, I like him. I like him. He's coming up. Everyone, you look in this field and there's so Cylinder much. Cylinder won a new him. market a couple of weeks ago and is $29 or yeah. something, isn't it? 34 right 34 now. $34 right now. That is now. fucking wild. <laughs> it's crazy, eh? You can just see how much that weight swing in the new market oh, yeah. was affecting. And even like you see those odds and you go, okay, well, Imperatries should be a fucking dollar fifty. No, no, three bucks sixty. Yeah, right you get nice. It's that's because of the class of the field. Yeah, it is going to be a fucking great race. Cracking addition, fifteen runners. It's going to be great. Who do you like, mate? Now I am having three bets on three horses because it's fucking too hard. Spread so around. I'm going to back Imperatries. I'm I'm laying. I wish I win. I'm mm-hmm. la- I'm writing it off because it's first up. So. Oh yeah, uh, the mon- they've come for him though. The money's the money's sort of come for. Well, I wish ten I cents win, off bit, being the favourite. Bit scary, yeah. but I'm going to back Imperatries. You can't knock a champion. I'm, this is the first time I've backed at this prep, so I think the price now is backable. Who would you back in the new market? Uh, Do you remember? So, uh, 
I don't think we had a bet in the new market. Oh, no, we didn't. I just backed Imperatories personally. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, first time this prep, I'm going to back her just because she's $3.60, mm. which is obviously the best, pr- best price you're going to get. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have two units on her. That's sort of the one to get me money back if that happens, you know. You fail safe. And then I've got two units Espiona, Nash Rewilla on a Randwick track in big group ones in the wet just does shit. Just gets He just it does done. shit. Like took uh, Think It Over all the way to the outside fence a couple of years ago. Yeah. Gave up lengths and ended up winning. The other – on Think It Over again when he beat Fangirl, went up the – Yeah. Cut the corner, right. you know. He just – he's fucking smart. He produces his, magic. Group one races. So – and third up, Chris Waller. This is her grand final and Chris Waller – fucking just does shit when it's their grand final. So two units Espiona, and then I'm going to have a fucking crack at Coal Crusher. Ooh. One unit Coal Crusher the win. What if he just gets a lead in front on the heavy track and they can't get him because they're all on the treadmill? Yeah, that's true. He's got the blinkers on, like gear change, blinkers on, so he's going to be, you know, that tunnel vision down the straight, won't wander around, yep. find the fence, maybe wins, loves the klutzy 10. Yeah. 61 bucks, one unit. Okay. Buck. That's what I'll do. It's uh, tough. Espione, you're getting $18, and Imperatrice, you're getting $3.60. So yep. that's how I'm going to spread the units. I like that. It's um, because it's such a tough race, rather than, I know it seems ironic, but rather than dipping my toes and everything, oh, I'm just going to fucking throw all my five units on one. And for me, it has to be Imperatrice. Boom. The only race that hasn't won in the near past has been the new market. And. I will honestly put that down to Cylinder having six kilos less. And pulled up with a yeah, elevated, pulled up lame. elevated heart rate or something, yeah. heart arrhythmia or something. Had something going on. And so still performed like still that. Still performed so. in second, like so close. So I just can't go past it. Um, 1,200 metres is its perfect distance. Opie Blossom on board. Everything just looks like it should win. Yeah, Does well in the mud as well. Like there's a lot of horses in this race that do, but if you've yeah. got the fucking probably the best horse mm. out of all of them, I've got to go with Imperatrice. So yeah, three dollars sixty, and uh, that'll probably fluctuate until it jumps. Barry six all too. five units. Yeah, Barry Perfect. six. That is drawn perfectly for this. Well, the only uh, the thing with oh, I wish I win is it's drawn barrier four, which is ideal. Mm-hmm. So the last couple of. The last couple of big races, so he only had two starts uh, last prep. Yeah. And both times drew fucking barrier one, which is horrible mm. for I Wish I Win because he gets back. He gets back to near last. So he's actually drawn a barrier here, which is good for it. It should just be a cracking race, man. I can't oh, wait to watch it. Uh, Tommy? Yeah, yeah. T.D.? Righto, lads. Group one racing. The boys have told you where we're going, so I'll just kick things off with what I'm going, and I just can't get my eyes off Imperatrice, lads. Mm. All five units on the snot. I just simply think that this horse wins, although I'm going to have a little groper each way on number 11, <laughs> Sunshine in Paris. No units on it. Just wanted to let you know that I think it may win. Righto. Indoor. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that is So good. he'll be down on the fucking table if he loses, but he'll have a bit of a moral win yeah. there. I reckon he'll fucking go off if it wins. Oh, yeah. Like as in yeah, he'll be mad be at himself. Pissed off, yeah. Fucking oath. Oh, Should you just put fucking... at least one on it, mate, if you were that confident of the groper each yeah, way? Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> it's a bit silly. Are we labelling the groper each way as you're not actually putting any money on it? It's just it's a moral <laughs> Moral each way. I, don't I know. think that's what it's got to be. I don't know how we fucking come <laughs> about that. So it's just you saying, don't be surprised if this other team wins. Yeah, that's it. I'm going, yeah, look, I'm backing them in, but don't it be surprised. It took probably twice that... to happen, and then we went, oh, the old great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. It's fine. That's good. Um, right, right, let's hear from the old boys. Yep. Yeah, we can go it. Keats first. Yeah, go to Keats. Reginald, the TJ Smith over 1,200 metres on a forecast wet track. What a great little lineup this is. There's only one horse winning this race. Should have won the Everest and his yeah. classes above these, especially in the wet at Randwick. Been off the scene for six months, but is loaded with ability. Number one, I wish I win, out of the Moody Coleman stable. J-Mac will need to be right on cue uh, from barrier four and ensure he doesn't get boxed in when the whips are cracking. 
This will be a scintillating performance, guys, a real head turner. So follow me in here, Reggie Punters, all five units on the beak. Number one, I wish I win. I took $4.20 yesterday personally, but this horse should be starting favourite as far as I'm concerned. Until next week, happy punting and stay safe. Glorious. Can't it's knock it. No, can't, can't knock it. All you can really knock is that it's first up. I just wish it had had a start. Yeah. Yeah. And he's right. He should have won the fucking Everest, but yep. he drew barrier one. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, who? Pedro? G1P. G1P, man. What's he on? Hey, Reggie's right. TJ Smith Stags Group 1 racing this weekend. Well, there's no horses that have just fully stood out. Obviously, there's some fucking great horses, but oh, trying to find. One that just makes me jump on it. The weather's going to be flogging down. By the time this race comes along, it's going to be really chopped up. But uh, like Comparatories, I'm struggling to get away from it. But uh, for some reason, I'm on a roll. I've got some units you up my sleeve. I'm going to go for yeah. it. I'm going to stay away from it. I'm going to jump on. I wish I win. Three units. Them units easily could have went to Imperatories, obviously. Shit. But I'm going to give, it to, reach, give it to a wish I win. Jay Mac aboard. <laughs> And with two units remaining, I'm going to go private eye to place. Ooh. It's uh, I think that's paying about $5 to place, maybe. So we'll, we'll get some units there, hopefully. It likes the wet. But, yeah, flip a coin, boys. Not an easy one. But uh, sunshine in, in Paris, I did love it until I realised the weather. And it would have paid beautiful, but um, I'm going to steer away from it this time. It's a few each way. So see so how we go. Group one racing. Cheers, boys. Attack. Okay, so now he said that, I wish I win, will win. I know, I'm pissed because we've just <laughs> given it absolutely no hope no. And that G1P has tossed up and gone it. Honestly, I should just fucking, should I just take my licks, finish second and just <laughs> listen to his bet every week and copy it? <laughs> you finish second, yeah, because yeah, you can't for the catch whole, him. Yeah, just can't catch him if we both keep winning. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I don't mind that. I don't mind the private eye bet, man, because it's a fucking good horse. It is. It's just like you can't. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. What like five dollars fifty to place too? Is it just uh, it's had a couple of stinkers and now you got to just keep well, giving yeah, it a chance? Eleventh last race, so it's like yeah, but they've been really bad runs too. There's proper. been no bad well, luck. That's, yeah, it's just anyway. Good on him. Can't, can't just knock it. Yeah, can you? Fucking, I wish Fuck I win. This, Why this... couldn't he back in Peritries? <laughs> He literally he was to. like, Imperatries, Imperatries, Imperatries. Nah, I wish nah, I would. I'm going to go this yeah. one. <laughs> I'm going to win on this one. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Fuck. I wish I do win this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Imperatries win. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, let's hear from Rocket. Boys, punters, Queenslanders, Rocket's Ruffies, raring to go. Group 1 tip this week is Randwick, race 7, the James Squire, TJ Smith stakes. Tough race, but we're going horse 11, sunshine in Paris. Four-year-old Bay Mare, she's got a 57% win rate, 100% place rate. She's in form. Let's go five units on the nose Ooh, at yeah. $8. Jump on her, stay hard. Nice, nice, nice. So I thought nice. after he said the 100% place. So it's hard because... He was going to go each way, maybe. I think um, G1P said he was worried about the weather. Mm. But it's never been tried on a heavy track. So it could just come out and just be an absolute guru. It's had two goes on a fucking jarch and two starts, one win and a third. Ooh. So it's like you just... It could be a mud skipper. You never could. know. Yeah. Don't <laughs> so, know yeah, love try. it. Love the bet. And it was awesome first up. I Very love that good. we're all sprinkling it around everywhere. Yeah. These are the group ones we love. Because when we started this segment, it was kind of clear-cut favourites for a few weeks there. But yeah. we're building into There's only autumn. been one that we haven't won as a show. Yeah, no one has actually yeah. got the winner, yeah. yeah. Right, and I think it was Jenny <laughs> of all horses. Yeah. <laughs> no now, one, looking back on that no now, one, we went, what the fuck were yeah. we doing? Yeah, right out. Button. Reggie's. TBR here for the Group 1 this week, the TJ Smith. Um, look, it's a very competitive field, this, this field. I, I think there's many chances across the board. I'm going to go with Espiona. She's been my... Um, she's sailing. You know, I, I've tipped her before in, <laughs> in this segment. This and, uh, look, I think she's a very good horse. Needs a little bit of luck because she gets back. But um, uh, at the odds that she's at and how far back I am on the leaderboard, I'm going to go with her two units 
uh, the win, one unit the place. And with my other two units, I'm gonna go a straight first four. <laughs> one, 10, 11, eight. That's right, Imperatrice to run fourth out of the placings. You heard it here first, TBR out. Has he yeah. just backed Espiona mm. as his major bet and then, and then put it second? Put it second? Yeah, so go, I wish I win. Espiona. Um, Espiona. Sunshine in Paris. Yep, and then Imperatrice. Imperatrice. A straight first four. Fuck me. He loves it. He's the only bloke who gets on here and does it. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Is there any... Um, <laughs> what, what's his theory? Oh, the fucking... Fourth four, last four start nine, something inside... Barry fourth nine. last start inside nine. Yeah. <laughs> I want to genuinely know, Barton, if you're listening to this next week, give us the origin story for that. Where it come from? Would you wake up one day and say, I'm doing that? Like, he's, he's definitely won on it once, obviously. Yeah. Then, or yeah. was it stowed upon him from his grandfather or something? <laughs> I need to know this, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Righto. B2. B2. Righto, boys. The group one, TJ. Um didn't really know where to look here. The forecast in Sydney is quite worrying. Um, and if they get the deluge of rain they're expecting over the next two or three days, um, don't be surprised if this meeting gets pushed back a week. Um, Peter Volandis isn't scared to make these calls and uh, their two biggest meetings of the year, day one and day two of the championships, he'd want them run in the best conditions possible. So I did have a look earlier today. There's a benchmark meeting in three weeks' time, so it wouldn't surprise me if they get a shitload of rain. It, he won't push it back. But anyway, uh, I think the horse to beat, no matter what conditions come up, is definitely I wish I win. Um, he won this race last year on a bog track, and uh, Moody may have just pulled a master stroke not starting him against Imperatories in Melbourne. Nah, no knock on her as a favourite, but all her wet track form was back in New Zealand against a lot easier grade. Um... And I just think I wish I win's been set for this for way too long. It's obviously been his target for a long time. Moods will have him, in the words of Keto, peaking. Um, so I'll be having three units. The win, I wish I win. But his stable mate down the bottom, Chain of Lightning, does worry oh. me. She made a very impressive return to the winner's circle last start after getting conditions that she'd been deprived of for a long time. Um, and like I say earlier, with the track expected to be wet, she worries me at twenty six dollars and six fifty. So I'm going to have a unit each way on her as well. That's three units straight. Number one, I wish I win, and one unit each way. Number fourteen, Chain of Lightning. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy punning. I love the variety. Yeah, it's no one awesome. else, including myself, even thought about Chain of Lightning. Yeah, well, I was going to mention him at the start and say, you know, he won last week and here mm. he is paying fucking whatever he was paying. Big yeah, odds. big odds. But the race last week obviously was so much the weaker. The field was a lot So weaker, much yeah. weaker. But anyway, yeah, no, I like it. Boys, fucking good. just quickly, if and you will be punting with Bluebet this weekend and you're like myself and uh, Gropes, you're like Imperatrice and Tommy, mm. top two... They're offering a special promotion, paying two dollars fifty. Two fifty for top two Imperatries. I think you've got a max bet of a hundred bucks, which is that plenty. is you're doubling more than your fucking money. Absolutely. They uh, they cleaned us up a couple of weeks ago because Stormboy run third. <laughs> yes, they did. So, but honestly, I fucking like this, and I've got a feeling as well as putting it first myself. Yeah, just exactly. Just a little fail safe because. I can't see it not being up there. A lot of people probably can't see it not being up there. So yeah. even if it gets beaten on the snoz by a $51 roughy, which is a very fucking high possibility in this weather, second place just 250 yeah. max bet $100. Yeah. Get You're on taking it. that. Get You're around You're taking them. that. Good old blue bet, eh? Hey. They love it. It's like it's a bit worrying because are they going, oh, well, we'll lay in Paratrees again like they did mm. Stormboy, though. When they give you these things, it's like they're going, well, we'll take it on. You know, yeah. we think something else is going to win. Are they jinxing us? Um, no, they're not. <laughs> they're great. They're they great. They've we done, love Blue They've Bear. done well. They cleaned us out uh, on Storm Boy yep. and everyone else. Uh, let's get them back, eh? Yes, let's get one let's back get for us. Let's get them fucking back. I think it's uh, limit to the first 600 bets too, so. Get on it. Get on quick. Get on quick. I wonder if that's, uh, if the Landys would do that. Lot Barb's is saying, push the meeting back. He doesn't seem like a bloke who would do that. The bloke who brought rugby league back in the darkest times in the world and put it as a first sport back. 
sad, nah, but the seemed, weather, he's talking about the I weather. I know the weather, but I mean, as in, he seems like a fucking, a bloke that would just say, no, nah, we yeah. just do it. Just do it. Because there's too How much. How does he find time in his life to do anything? Too How much you, has gone on. Yeah. To, like, all these horses have been prepped into this day. It's a huge race. You can't fucking. It's not like last weekend, not a. No, it's a huge day. Yeah. Four group ones. That's what I mean. I'm not, like, knocking Doombin at all here. But you can call off a race meet like that. You can't call off four group ones. They wouldn't have called it off Doom and Cup Day if it was like oh, fuck that. No. Or fucking uh, Kingsford Smith Cup That's Day, right. like yeah. a group one day. So this has – you just got to fucking – I think they'll – he can't call it off. Nah, he'll be right. He'll get there. Righto. Uh, let's move in to the old boys, Young Guns, me yes. favourite segment. Uh, all six of us have our five units to spend, but it's everyone's, as you've seen on the leaderboard, it's everyone's return. That was a rude shot. Add it up. Yeah, we're getting hammered. Yep. Um, yeah, so basically. You're in the positives, aren't you? Personally, but Personally, we're, it's yes. a team sport. It is a team sport. We're getting fucking it's a hammered. Team sport. <laughs> we're winning, but we're getting hammered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, I think we're winning on minus 50 units. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're the better of the shit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to stick with what have we've been doing. You two have been having a bit of a swang. Oh, I am again. And <laughs> I've been chipping away, getting a couple of winners on nice. the board. Keep so doing your thing, mate. We've talked about First Immortal. Yes. In race nine at Caulfield, looks a better the weekend, and I am I'm actually glad a horse like Karini is in the race because otherwise, first immortal would be very very short. It'd be under two bucks. I it's reckon. short enough already. He's two dollars oh, yeah. ninety. But if we have five units to win, there's a nice little return again for the young guns. You oh, know, yeah, gets that return. You just can swing away, Karini. This is a gh way oh. <laughs> because <laughs> Karini. Gets the blinkers first time, and that's the oldest trick in the training manual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> blinkers first time, it sharpens them up that much. But that's why I think you're getting 290 about first immortal. I like that a lot. So up to 2,000 metres, draws a perfect barrier, barrier four, fucking five units, $2.90. And I was a bee's cock off going to fucking Sydney and backing Storm Boy at $2.60 because I think that is value at the yeah. as well. One race and then you get the good value. But, but I just will not do it until I see him not miss the start yeah. again because he missed it horribly and that's why he lost the race. And it never usually does that. Yeah, he sort of half missed the one before. He didn't miss it, miss mm. it, but he half did. And that's why I stayed well away from him in the, um, in the golden slipper. So until I see him not miss it, then I'm not going to bet on him. But I'm glad you've gone first and more because I'm very confident on that bet. Yeah. It's it's good. It's like a three-man scramble what we do. It's like you tee up, punch yeah. it down the fucking fairway. Four-iron punch yeah, down the middle. Tommy and I rip out the big <laughs> stick and we go with what I'm about to hit now. Randwick, race eight, the Doncaster mile. Slice. Now just <laughs> – this one is going, nah, mate, this is 300 dead straight. <laughs> 300. Lady Laguna. Here she is. Such a close second last time out to V8, uh, and it was rising to the 1,500 metres there, and the way it ran home was so fucking strong. It's one of those races where you watch and you just go, oh, an extra 100 there probably would have won. And uh, guess, guess what? what? <laughs> this weekend you've got the extra 100 because it's 1,600, obviously, the Doncaster Mile. Uh, I think it's just Laguna's to win. I'm not ready to count this mare out at all. Uh, the weight on its back is just making me drool. 51 kilos. Toppy's 57. Yeah. Uh, it's not bottom. There is a bit lower. You've got Celestial Legend and another Will, 49 and 50 kilos. 49, man. That's with gear on. Bro, I don't understand how a grown <laughs> adult can weigh fucking that little. Not many of them can. That's, it is. Uh, That's why they're the best in the business. Not many of them can get down that low. Like yeah. you'd, I don't think you'd ever see um, J Mac or someone at forty nine. Like do they, they genuinely cut weight like fighters do to get to this shit? Do you reckon? Yeah, fuck yeah. Like intensely, like that would like be, all the time. But yeah, because well, one weekend you've got to be fifty three kilos, and next weekend they want you forty nine. Yeah, like. they'd all have a base, but when you got to ride forty nine. That's insane. That's with man. boots and fucking all sorts. Yeah, that's of like shit probably on. forty-two kilos just bare. I weighed that oh. at eight years old, I reckon. Yeah. If anyway, that. 
Uh, yeah, but another will is drawn the absolute car park, so that's yeah. why I've held off it a bit. Laguna's drawn a 10, which I think is perfect because she'll hold off the middle and just peel out straight home. $10, boys, for the win. Throwing confident three units on her. And then for my last, we've got a three-leg NRL multi. I've done a bit of diving here. And diving. I think I've found... Springboard or...? Uh, <laughs> nah, just straight off the fucking damn wall. <laughs> <laughs> I've found some great value. Raiders playing the Eels on Sunday night at Canberra. I've tipped Canberra to win. Ah, oh, good. So I'm backing them in the multi at a dollar eighty, but this is my little bit of research. Here we go. Sounds a bit peculiar, boys, but Danny Levi has scored three tries so far this season. He has because he just loves diving in. Yeah. And every time I put a multi on, just personally for a Raiders game, I go, "Oh, why is that cunt scoring? I never fucking back him." So you know what? I'm doing it this time because I think the para forwards will get lazy around the ruck. Close to that line, and he just loves the old white line fever, so he yeah. will just barge over. So you're getting $5.50 any time for that. Mm-hmm. And even if you don't back my multi, that's just personally, just put it in there. Trust me. Right. I honestly am that confident on it, and it feels weird to say that for a hooker. Get on blue bet and fucking back him in. That's right. And Mike Acevo made his return last week, and he just loves barging over and yeah. eating meat pies. So I'm backing him too, and that'll be paying 13 bucks. And I'm Ooh. putting my last two units on that. Okay. Okay. I see what you've done. So you went Raiders, Levi, do that if you don't want to include Sevo. Is yes, that it? Yeah. Pretty much. Righto. Pretty nice. much. Nice. Uh, side note, Danny Levi in another life would have been a bikey slash oh. <laughs> drug dealer. <laughs> Has to be, man. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> or he is still. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Little fucking side hustle during his footy career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh fuck yeah! Um, we didn't do the me us like each other. Oh spawn, yeah, I kind so of just I reckon in, we man. go Tom. Yep. I was a bit excited. Yeah, fucking who cares? <laughs> we just run the show, so we do it is our we show. It's not theirs. <laughs> Righto, lads, old boys versus young guns. Let's go! I'm changing it up this week a bit. I'm just going to go right on the fucking snot of a pony. So we're going to Eagle Farm race six. Number three, Flag Hall. I'm not even going to oh. tell you anything about the horse. Have a look yourself. Bounces. It should be paying about $3.40 to win on the snot. Five units. And with a cunt with the name of Boris Thornton on board, <laughs> this thing I don't think can physically lose. Get into it. <laughs> oh, oh, big Boris. <laughs> That's, um, that was one of the B, B1 or B2's tips. Yeah, in one of their multis. I think it – no, on the snot. Was it? I think it was um, B2. I think it was too, yeah. Barbary. Yeah. yeah. Barb's is back wow. in as well, so that's good. That bit could of, be huge. Bit of copying going on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish I had known that because he's gone the fucking four iron down the middle too. Yeah, I was going to say that, but five units on it. Oh. The com- the communication wasn't there. No, it's he's fair not enough. Here he's not here. Fucked it. Yeah, anyway, so that's I could just have a swing. <laughs> Change Mate, it. well, it's your fucking show. Nah, no we won't. Stopping you. I'll leave it. I'd like to get another. That'll be a 20 unit or so fucking. Oh, we'll get a nice That's boost. without you. If my, f- honestly, if fucking Laguna at 10 bucks and this multi, one of well, them doesn't get up, man. I'm going to be spewing. The Laguna bet last time was for this segment. That's right. Lost by a snout. Mm-hmm. And you had three... Units at twelve dollars. Mm-hmm. Fuck me, that pisses me off. It should have won. Yep, oh, it's going to win this weekend. Let's hear from Keats. He, oh, speaking of, actually, he might have this. That you can hold. you can be hold if you aren't watching because the hole is operating. He he went. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the WA Oaks mm-hmm. and backed that fucking twenty six dollar ruffy. Um, let me just get the name of it because Keto, Keto, Flash of Dallas. Oh, yeah. Mate, I had money on it. I had it in a, in a little multi, the place, mm-hmm. and then had some money on the nose. Should have won. Should have won. The jockey just got outridden slightly. Like it had the perfect run and instead of he just was off the ball for that split second yeah. and the eventual winners come around him from behind. Oh. So he had to like wait, 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 and then he got the gap and fucking flew home and it's like Fuck. just got outridden because if he had appealed, 
when they a bit, did. A bit more ambitious. If he had a, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, fuck that was no. a great bet. So, Keto's And he's done it. it before at $31. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we, we've him. got away with one. Oh, we have got thank away with fuck. one. Fuck. <laughs> Because he had five units on that, yeah. at 26s. So we got away with one. Fuck for that. Let's hear from him. Reginald, old boys are peaking this week. What are we, seven or eight runs into our campaign? <laughs> and we're ready to fire. We should honestly be bathing in hundreds of units from last week, but let's move on from that. Keto's blue bed, old boy. Loves the Doncaster Mile. And I could have made a case for 10 of these winning. But I've been waiting for this horse to get to the mile third up, and hopefully the rain comes as expected, so Kovalika can blow oh, them away no, from well no, back no, in the no. field. At the juicy odds of $20, four units to win Kovalika. I'm also having one unit to place the Johnny Sargent runner, number 24, mm. Palmetto, at $30 the place, mind you. <laughs> well, there you have it. Kovalika destroys them on Saturday. And a much respected trainer of mine in Sarge to run a place with Pell Meadow. Happy punting. Come on, the old boys. Did I not say off air you did. that I like Kovalika in the fucking Doncaster? It's just one of those names where you just recognise it and you go, oh, why is that paying so much? Third up, Chris Waller, grand final. Oh, yeah. uh, shit. <laughs> this, is this one of the first times in the old boys and young gun segment that we've gone a direct like head to head in the same race? Oh, could be, could be. Nah, I've ta- I've been up against him before. Have you? But we both oh, yeah. just shit the bed. Yeah. So. Fuck me. Even if Laguna wins and um his little place bet there, thirty dollars a place, he'll yeah. still print more than me. <laughs> Which will just do my head in. We'll be even, even if Laguna wins and that gets a place. <laughs> what was that cunt called? Uh, it's number twenty four. He said. Oh, that won't. Will that even? Is there twenty four in? Yeah, there is. Fuck, it's a big field, eh? There's emergencies in um I thought that was fourth emergency. Um, that count. So I, hold up. He might have said <coughs> if it gets a start. I just missed it if he yeah, did I say that. I, it too. I don't no. think he did. No. Oh, it, there also might be 24 runners in it, but I thought there was 20 and then four emergencies in case of scratchings, which there's very likely to be because of the weather. So anyway, I could be off my head there. Let's uh Hear from G1P, who is actually minus fucking 40 in this segment. Oh, he sucks in this so. segment, which is kind of good. <laughs> yeah. Like, if there was one for him to suck in, I'm glad it's this. Yeah, fuck yeah. Hello, good day, Reggies. Well, Pedro has been letting my old boy brothers down. Yep. Struggling at the moment to give his a winner. <laughs> but shit's about to change. Let's go this weekend. We've got a six-leg yeah. AFL Super Saturday <laughs> multi. <laughs> So I've got three, three games on Saturday. I've got two legs for each game, so it gives us a six-leg multi. Let's go. We've got Logan McDonald, two or more goals for Sydney. Errol Golden, 25 or more disposals. Into the Carlton game, Harry Mackay, two or more goals. Patrick Cripps, 25 disposals or more. Into the Cats game, Tom Hawkins, two or more goals, and Tommy Stewart, 25 or more disposals. 25. It's a very doable six-legger. Thanks to Bluebet, they spent around ten bucks. So I'm going to whack the five units on that. So it's good betting. I can is, attack. Cheers, is. boys. That is good betting. I like his goal scoring one. If there's, uh, it's risky going to fullback for disposals, mm. but in a game, I it'll be close between Geelong and Doggies. Mm. So that's when it's a good time to sprinkle in the best fullback in the game for disposals. Yeah. Because if it was just a fucking landslide, if it was Geelong versus West Coast, you're not going to put Tom Stewart. If it was 20. 10, yeah. 25 is 25 a fair 25 is bit, a lot, but, yeah. Man, I like that. When he said six legs, we were like, eh, he's done it again, <laughs> but two per <laughs> AFL game. And yeah, that's very not doable. Bad. That very, not very bad, doable. Oh. Uh, See how he rocket. goes. What's the rocket got? Punders, Queenslanders. Old boys first, the shoe shiners. <laughs> Randwick, race three, horse two, wits end. Talented Kiwi in a strong stable. J-Mac on board. He'll go one better than his last start. Five units at $6 to win. Jump on him, stay hard. 
That's lovely betting. That is great. That betting. is lovely and I betting. I forgot from he the was going to. He had the name for us each week. So the shoe shine is <laughs> fuck. That caught me off guard. The shoe shine is. I like that. That is good. That is gold. Oh well, that's fucking all that's we got. That's all. Yeah. Um. Perfect. Good little show. It was. Uh, don't forget, bets. gamble responsibly, set the deposit limit, all that fucking stuff that we've already done, yep. of course. And when you are gambling responsibly, 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 do it with Bluebet. Yeah, Download they, they the do. App. I'm back in the Reggie's in that they do bet with Bluebet. Yeah, just a little reminder if you haven't started. Yeah. Get your account going because you're getting 250 for Imperatrice to run top two this weekend. That's an incentive if you're not with Bluebet. $100 max out. bet. And I oh, I mean, a few years, you're one unit bet would be more than a hundred dollars but yeah. for most people it's up to a hundred so yep. fucking get on the app and uh get on that fucking oath right we'll uh wrap it up there and we'll see you fucking wednesday morning Hooray.